Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to share with you how to, I made the Easter basket. It can be a baby basket too, you know, with the bear, uh, the bunny and taking the eggs out. But I decided to do an Easter basket. We're using the weave um, basket um, embossing folder. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is take the two largest circle, uh, not circle, but oval, and I cut this together there. So voila, here we go. And one oval going to make two baskets, but you need the full thing for the handle here. So you're going to have to do another one of that for the handle if you want to do two baskets. Now for the eggs, I use the smallest oval in the uh, layers uh, oval. Now the bunny it's from Sweet Little Something. So this one I did in the blue, the other one in the pink. I'm going to have all the color that I use on my blog below in the description. You're going to have the link or above in the eye. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to start with the card base. We're going to prepare all this here. So I'm using eight and a half by uh, five and a half. We're going to fold this in two. And then for the background here, I'm just using the uh, soft sky and I just tab on the top here with my uh, nothing uh, fancy, just to give a little bit of a sky there really. So see I just, and go a different direction so it's not like all lines. Let's just give like a little different sky there. And I'm going to try to finish this square there. Not square, but straight. Here we go. That is it. Very, very simple. Don't worry about that. I smeared there. Must have on my ink. Or... Now I'm using um, a piece of old olive that measure, mm, measure twice. Cut once. Three quarter about. So this here, what I done, if you still have the scissors, that the frayed scissors, use that. If not, I just done see all, and it's no right and wrong, really. You're just going to go all around. I'm going to do this quick here. So it doesn't matter if you get big grass, little grass, just to fray, not fray, fringe, I think it's called. I'm coming back when uh, I see it was too thick. And then you're going to go a bit at different place sideways, diagonal. So then you get different uh, length of the grass. Now what i done, I took my bone folder and just curled this a little bit here. And this was measuring four and a quarter long. Now I'm going to use my uh, grass fuse that... It's not here, but it's here. And we're going to adhere that at the bottom of the card. Oops. Make sure I go all the way at the bottom. <coughs> that allergy in the spring. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me with that cough. I take stuff, but sometimes it helps, sometimes it don't. Now I'm using the Happy Easter in Tiny, Teeny Tiny Wishes. And that it's Old Olive on Old Olive. I'm going to put that right here. Happy Easter right there. <coughs> right now my throat just itch itch. Okay, you're going to take your oval and you're going to um, pass that in your embossing folder. Remember that's a thick one. You just need one of the clear plate. Now I'm using a strip and this measure, uh, the width, it's a quarter inch and I could diagonal on this. Now you're going to cut them in half and what i done, I used crumb cake on crumb cake there and here we go, oops, just to add some color at the top. Now I use the same thing on my strip. And then for my handle, about oh, three quarter you're going to do. And that, even if you get different color, that is okay. Here we go. 
Now, at the bottom, you're going to cut this straight here. So it's going to guide you a little bit better. Because you want a basket that stay down, right? You don't want to round the basket at the bottom because it wouldn't stay if it's placed up. Now you're going to take this, and your strip, and I'm using glue dots. And we're going to put glue dots, well, it looked like I have to get another glue dot thing here. Okay, I'm using about three of them here. And we're going to put that right at the edge there. It's just to give the definition just a little bit over uh, past it, just like a basket. That looked pretty good, right? Now I'm going to take this and just a little tiny bit, not too much. Okay. I went a little bit shorter, so let me just snip a bit here. So this I cannot give you the length of it because it depends how you're going to cut your uh, oval. If you go lower or higher, it can make a difference. So voila. I got my border there. Now at the bottom, we're going to do the same thing. Put glue dots. And I don't go the glue dots right at the edge. I go inside a bit. And you're going to understand why. Soon you're going to see. And I should have a silicone mat here. Because that helped me so much. Oops. See? My glue was not dry. So that's well, not the glue. I'm sorry. The ink. You want to make sure the ink is dry when you do this. Okay. I'm going to put that there. going to try to re-glue this here. Just make sure your ink is dry before you uh, adhere your uh, strip. Now, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to go di diagonal like this. So that's why you didn't want your glue dot right at the edge. Voila. So now I got my little basket. Oops. Now, turn this around. Take your... Um, oval handle here. I just, you can use Tombow, um, Tombow would work great for that. Now I'm going to place that, that it go on each side about the same. Let's turn this around. Voila. Maybe a little bit more in. Now that's going to be good. Maybe I can lift it up a little bit. Oh. No, we won't play with it. Here we go. We're going to call it good for today. See? We got a basket. Now for the eggs, like I said, some of it I use the So Saffron and some I use the Designer Siri Paper um, Petal. I'm going to put the name. I don't want to say a name now. My brain, I mean, this is my seventh video today. So uh, I'm going to have all the supplies that I'm using below and above. Click on the link. So for the eggs... You can, eggs. I put the H at eggs, I think. For some reason, I don't put H where they belong, and I put H where they don't belong. So, um, the funny part is that I cannot tell the difference, or I don't hear the difference. So, just bear with me. You know what I'm talking about, the shape here. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to turn this around here. I'm going to put my fast right there. I think it's faster like that. I'm going to put one right here and I try not to put them straight and I'm going sideways a bit here see and then this and then oh, come on baby okay now we're going to need well you know what let me put a glue dots here. That's going to be better for me today. Just because I'm not sure exactly where to go. So I'm going to put one right there. And the other one, we're going to use it in the grass. Um, on the first card that I did, if you see your eggs look bigger in the bottom, yes, uh, I used the second of the smallest too. So now I get five eggs there. Here we go. Take your bunny. I'm going to put my bunny. Here we go. 
So now, I I didn't even glue my bunny. What I done with my bunny, I just place it, and when I saw, okay, it's working for me, I place some dimensional in the back of it. You know, touch, uh, touch the basket and the bunny, so then you know it's staying at the right place. Now I'm going to put dimensional here. Um, I'm not afraid using dimensional on this, to be honest. It's just because I want it to stay at the right place. And then you can take the tiny dimensional and cut this in half. Even the tiny need to cut in half because you need just a little bitty. And the reason why, it's because the handle needs to be secure too. And you see, I'm working all in the back of this here. It's a lot easier to work in the back than trying to work at the front. You know, try to put your dimensional from looking the front to the back. Well, this is the burn here. Let's go right here. I think I need one at the top. So let me... Um, Cut a little piece here. You cannot have too much dimensional. Put it that way on this because when you mail it, you know it's going to get pushed and you don't want it to come in all little bits and pieces. Here we go. And I think I can put that one here. Okay, make sure you don't have that those paper. Do I? I cannot tell on this one. I don't think so. Okay, let's remove this. Let's bring that there. going to sit my basket under the... See, just fluff this up here a bit. going to put my basket right here. Oh, my goodness, silly me. <laughs> You have to remove all those paper. I was like, why it's not sticking? I did the top, not the bottom. Okay, let's remove all this. And then that's it. So if it would be like for a baby uh, card, then you can put the little bear too also in the basket. I think that would be very, very cute. Berry bear, little bear. Uh, that bear that looked like the bunny there. Um, that would be super cute. I think I will do another card with the bear also. So if it's not for Easter. Okay, now I think I'm in better shape than the first time. We're going to line this right there. Voila. Now take your eggs there. And you can take the... Tombow, Fast Fuse, uh, Dimensional, whatever works for you for adhesive. Here we go. And then I'm going to put my eggs in this one. I'm going to put it with the Dimensional though. Just because I think it's going to look more, uh, gives more dimension on it. Because I'm using the same color there. Here we go. So I got two eggs there. Now I just want to put one on the other side. Oops. Here we go. And I'm going to put this one right there. Voila, my friend. That is it. I'm going to add a little bow on the basket. But this is it. See how cute that is? So whatever worked for you. And the color of the bunny, I'm going to have all the color that I use on my block. And the eggs, like I said, if you take the eggs away, it would make a very um, lovely baby card. Also with the baby bear there. So all supplies are going to be on my blog, below or above. So all in the U.S. can come shopping 24-7 right there. And I'm going to list all measurements and all supplies that I use. Thank you so much and have a lovely friend. <laughs> have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.